G'day everyone, David from Explore Oz again. Today's Explore Oz Traveller app tip is about the content and having the content loaded all the time and what does the content mean. We are recently on a trip, or we're still on that current trip, and a load of people have come up to us and showing us their devices and wondering why things aren't working as they are when we demonstrate stuff. And it's been amazing to find how many people actually don't have the content data loaded because they just think they want to use the map. Um, the app is designed to be the content and the map integrated together to create the whole product. So what will happen if you don't have the content loaded? I've got it sitting here on my screen here. This particular iPad doesn't have the content loaded and what you'll notice is that we've got a grey icon here on search and we've got a red icon, a red marker here on the uh, drop a pin icon. So basically those seem to be disabled and not working. Um, if we have a look over here in our data manager, everything looks normal and everything seems to be fine. We've got a current position, we can see the map. Um, but if we go into data manager, what you'll notice is there's a download button and there is no content loaded. Now, the app is maps and content and really they're both meant to be used together. If you're getting these colored like this and when you tap on it, it'll go straight to the same data manager download screen. You need to start that download and get that done to get the content installed. The app does not work as it's meant to without the content. So if I just flip over to this particular iPad that has the content loaded, one of the things that you'll notice differently is that there's no markers. We come in here and we can't turn on places and folders and we can't turn on any of this stuff. None of the, these, these options will work, but you can't actually turn them on because the data doesn't exist. It's not there. The difference when the data exists and is there is that you come in here and you can turn these all on and off and you can see the results of it changing on the screen. You can see the treks appear, you can see your items in your folders appear and you can see the places appear. This has to be working. In order for the other things to work, like dropping a pin, you need that to be able to drop a pin to create a new place to cross is, and also to search the content. Without having the content loaded, you don't have access to all these records and this is where they're the 105,000 places and the 200 treks and the bits and pieces of preloaded data that we've supplied for you within the app. And realistically, it is all designed to be loaded all at the same time. So make sure you go into Data Manager and you do the download. I've now got a sync button because I've already downloaded once. Once the content has been downloaded the first time, every time you restart the app, boot the app or um, uh, bring it from background to foreground, it will do an automatic sync. So it'll actually activate that sync option and it will catch up with all the data that's been changed on the servers since you last synced. So that's how the app stays current and up to date. So make sure the content is loaded. In the latest release under 9.1, we basically force the content to be loaded before you can download the map packs. So if you're having trouble downloading the map packs, make sure the content is installed first and make sure the content is always installed. Hope that helps you with your usage of the Explorers Traveler app.